What's up, uh, Scarecrow Kaiser here. Um, making some requests to uh, see uh, updated versions of Frog FTK. Apparently, that's a really popular topic for people who watch me. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do two things. I'll do two. I'll show off two. There's two styles of Frog FTK that are really good that I know of. Um, there's one played by a friend of mine who's had a very consistent run with it in tournament play. He's gone like... he's basically lost like one game at each tournament he's gone to in the past like three weeks. Um, I however have not been playing in tournaments. I prefer to play uh, more traditional style decks like X Sabres or something like that, something that isn't like an FTK. Um, but I have a different style and I have done uh, some some tests on how to figure on to test the uh, win FTK ratio because that's really what's important is if you can kill them in one turn um, of both decks. And uh, the way I tested that, uh, not very complicated. I just had each game play out ten games, and have a ratio to compare uh, of FTKs to uh, no FTK uh, to not FTKs. Um, the deck I'm going to show you first is my style. Um, my style went nine out of ten games, so it had a ninety percent FTK ratio. <clears throat> So here's the deck. Uh, two tree born frogs, three poison draw frogs, three swap frogs, three substitute, three dupe frog, two rodent totems, that's one of the differences between us, three unifrog, three or two flip flop, uh, two belize, two submarine, that's monsters, spells. Three more agreed. Triple mass driver. Triple into the void. One card destruction. One one for one. Probably the best card in the deck, honestly. Three salvage. And one double summon. Also, one of the differences between me and my friends. Um, <clears throat> as I said, it has a 90% win ratio. Um, there's some key differences between the two styles. They both basically do the same thing but in different ways. Um, my way is different because I feel it's safer than my uh, friends. My friends build plays more cards instead of playing cards like Into the Void to get uh, playing one spell to draw one and I guess you could argue my style is, has a risk too but um, whereas my style is giving up the one to draw one which he plays uh, him <clears throat> Sorry, hand destruction. So he can disc so he takes a minus one to discard two and draw two. Well, that gives you a faster draw ratio. I'm not. Uh, I prefer not to run that card because, for one, there's the minus one involved, and two, there's the. It's a threatening card. It can make you. Pro it might make you lose the game. This being said, because it could make your opponent draw into their out against you meaning they could draw their DD Crow because both of you are drawing when you're playing that card. So your opponent might draw their DD Crow or if they have side deck they might draw Haniwata. So while Into the Void said, said, uh, would make you loot, would probably cause you the loss if you couldn't win that one turn, although this deck, as I said, wins 90% of the time in one turn, so that's not really that much of a threat. Um, I feel that threat is minimal compared to the threat of 
helping my opponent draw into a crow or a Haniwara to stop my FTK. <clears throat> so that's the big difference between uh, our two styles. Um, I will be doing another video going through his deck and his style, and then another video discussing tactics of the deck that aren't extremely obvious at first that you only learn if you played the deck a lot. So that's it for now.